So ever since the beginning of time, or at least till January, there have been a list of players that people would come to me and they would ask, say, Vach, what do you think about this player to the Cowboys? And I simply thought that it was way too early in the draft um, evaluation process to ask me about certain players. Well, it's April and the draft is right around the corner. Uh, Thursday, so I think now is an appropriate time to give my thoughts on some players that could make it to the Cowboys. Just my opinion. Um, where would I like them to be drafted? But but mostly I'm going to talk about um, you know the 17th overall pick. That's the one pick that I'm going to be talking about the most because anything can happen second and third round, then in day three. But uh, it's the first round that brings the most controversy when we talk about these picks. So these are the picks I'm going to talk about. Um, First of all, shouts out to the Cowboys, man. I haven't done a Cowboy video in a while, gang, gang. But um, a handful of players that I'm not going to get real deep into. Uh, one, uh, C.D. Lamb. He, everybody knows that that I want him at 17. Now, will he be there? Who knows? Uh, the one thing I don't want to hear in my comment section and chat box, and I say this all the time, I don't want to hear y'all say who cannot make it to 17 you know the draft is its own weird entity to where anything can happen right there are plenty of examples of players players that you thought wasn't going to be there that were there um you know what i mean so i don't want to get into what ain't going to happen but we can play possibility game now can cd lamb not make it to 17 i don't want to say that but Will he make the 17? Maybe not. I just don't want to hear people say what ain't going to happen. So guys like CeeDee Lamb, we're not going to talk about them. Javon Kenlaw, who can make it, but we're not going to talk about him. And uh, Derek Brown, another guy that I think could make it, but not there. I'm going to talk about guys that are kind of um, – actually linked to the Cowboys in some kind of way, whether it be my opinion, whether it be some guys in the Cowboy Illuminati circle that may or may not send text messages, uh, you know, we're going to talk about some of those players and just a handful of guys that uh, that fans ask me about all the time. Cowboys fans ask me about all the time. And A.J. Terrell is one of them. Um, a lot of this stuff comes with context to drafting at 17th overall. A.J. Terrell, if we draft him in the second round, I would be very happy with getting A.J. Terrell in the second round. Um, drafting him at 17, I wouldn't be the biggest fan of it in the world. Um, now, will I be upset like, a, you know, like, would you get a big rant video out of me? You know what I'm saying? You won't get one of those furniture flipping, screaming rants out of me. You won't get that from me. Um, AJ Terrell is a solid player. I just think it's so, so many more good players that's on the board over him. Now, the guys that do it over in Dallas, they are they are the pros. I'm just a YouTuber, so you ain't got to take my word over nobody's word. But um, just based on my opinion. If we were to get AJ um, AJ Terrell in the in the first round, seventeenth overall, I'd be pretty upset though. Um, and Ruiz is another one, and you can hear in the Cowboy rumor circle or in the Illuminati of text messages or whatever that the Cowboys are interested in Caesar Ruiz, but I don't think that we're talking about him in a seventeenth overall kind of way. Um, I think like uh, if you know you trade back into the second, if you trade to the back of the second round or something like that, maybe the the third round pick if, if he's there, then he would be considered. But there are some people that are saying, "Vash, what about Caesar Ruiz at 17? Hell no! I don't, I don't, I don't think we're, I don't think that's a good pick. I don't think that's that's legit. That ain't that ain't that ain't good. <laughs> That ain't good drafting right there, getting Caesar Ruiz at 17. Now, if if uh if some other team wants to get him at the back of the at the back of the first round, then be my guest, do what you gotta do. Um, say what you wanna say, but uh Caesar Ruiz at 17 would make my back itch real, real bad. Moving on. Um Yeter Gross Matos, and this recently just came out too. And just for you know, just for the the sake of anybody that may be listening with this question, I think just because cowboy fans are uh, cowboys are interested in people or cowboys are are interviewing people, they're doing due diligence, they're asking questions. I don't think that necessarily means that they're automatically considered with their with their seventeenth overall pick. Um, sure, the, the the cowboys ask gross models questions, but they ask like eighty other guys questions. So um, when this comes out in the news, I just don't need y'all running running to my door yo vach what do you think about the cowboys taking you to gross models or caesar ruiz at 17 well they they may not be candidates for 17 one you know uh i would say that gross models may be a candidate for 28 if that happens and you know ruiz may be like a third round guy i hope terrell is is considered to be a guy that we draft in the 50s somewhere but 
in terms of 17, I wouldn't be very happy with either of these guys. But the names are linked, and uh, it is a conversation in real life. Trevon Diggs, him at 17, I wouldn't be happy with it either. But I did hear his name uh, being brought up in, in, in some of those conversations. I mean, he's he's another player just like Terrell. And to be fair, just like Yeeter. Um, I wouldn't flip a table in anger if we got digs at 17 i just i'll just be very very disappointed you know uh i have a list of guys that i'm you know uh that i that i feel good about the cowboys taking at 17 and you can go find that video um i have a list of guys that i feel comfortable with but i'm just not comfortable with with digs and terrell or, or gross mottos at 17 you know most of the names that the cowboys been coming out with at 17 i'm not the biggest <laughs> I'm not the biggest fan of it. Um, a handful of names, sure, but you know, I'm gonna talk a little bit more about that as the the list goes on. Um, Jalen Rager is another guy that I think is a candidate more so in the 20s than the the uh, 17th overall pick. But uh, we're kind of linked to him, and this is mostly just like you know, cowboy fan questions. Yo, Vach, what do you, what do you think about Jalen Rager? I'd be cool with Jalen Rager to come in and play slot receiver or whatever but my problem is the cowboys led the league last year in drops and Jalen rager is a drop guy he's a pretty notorious uh drop guy in um in terms of uh you know his his film last year so what you know would i be you know super happy about it i mean yeah he can do some athletic things for you he can do some quick twitchy things he can be your uh one of your faster yak guys your uh jet sweep guy he can do all that stuff for you come in and play slot but um Nah, B, not a 17. Not a 17. You want to have a conversation in the 50s? Let's talk about it. And all these guys that I've shown you so far are guys that I would feel way better about in the 50s, right? Um, Strong safety, which is interesting because I heard Xavier McKinney's name uh, kind of brought up in some funk here. Um, it's interesting because Cowboys never really been high on, on safety, or at least box safety. And Xavier McKinney is exclusively a box safety in my opinion we've never really been high on those guys so um this is another player that i can see the cowboys being in in interested in but i just don't see it happening at 17 just not in my personal opinion and i know i sound negative because i got some angry to say about all these guys but i got something angry to say about all these guys the 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 cowboy the cowboy rumors just haven't been very nice to me they just haven't been very very nice to me i can give you a list of guys that i would be excited about uh, we could probably do that once I'm done talking about, you know, the guys on his list or whatever. But I don't know, man. Xavier McKinney. Now, look, to be fair, if Xavier McKinney ended up on my team at 17, I wouldn't be terribly upset about it because he is a good player. At the end of the day, don't get it twisted. Xavier McKinney is a good player. It's just that box safety. Box safety and drafting those guys at 17 is just where it gets kind of weird for me. So. Um, that's where I would be more upset than anything. The fact that we got a box safety at 17, when we can get a box safety that does Xavier McKinney things, hell, get him in the second round, get him in the third round. That's just where I'm at on that. But um, the 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 two guys that I do feel the most um solid about, I'll just go ahead and put this up there too. Uh, C.J. Henderson and Caleb Von Chason. Now, C.J. Henderson, both of these guys go in the conversation of. Um, they could go before Dallas gets on the clock. Um, both those are, are, are candidates for it could be gone by the time we get there. But um, they're also in the conversation of they, they could be right in play at 17. I feel real good about C.J. Henderson. I feel relatively good about Caleb Von Chason in terms of um, young pass rusher. We're going to have to develop him. And, you know, what can he be if he reaches his ceiling? I think he could be a pretty damn good fantastic pass rusher if he reaches his ceiling it just kind of depends on whether he reaches um his ceiling um and of course cj henderson in my opinion is the second best cornerback in the draft if he falls to 17 of course i'd be super happy about it um so that's kind of my list and how i feel about those guys now um people that i would feel really good about us drafting at 17 like real good um if ken law is there cool if any of those top receivers are there, right? And that's in this order. CeeDee Lamb, Justin Jefferson, Jerry Judy, uh, Henry Ruggs. In that order, if any of those top receivers are there, let's do that. If any of those top offensive linemen are there, let's take one of those guys. Um, CJ Henderson is about the last cornerback that I feel really good about taking at 17. Um, I like Fulton. And like I said, man, Terrell's cool. I like any of these corners. Gladney's cool, but give me those guys at 20. Um, 
Chase Young is like the last pass rush I would feel really, really good about. AJ Epinesa from Iowa is uh, is my second edge rusher. He's another guy that I would feel really good about the Cowboys getting. Uh, I feel good about Grant Delpit at 17, but everybody on this side of the list, these six small box guys, man, I wouldn't be too, too thrilled. Pardon me. I wouldn't be too, too thrilled about these guys at, um, at 17, but that's just that. It's just my opinion. Y'all ain't got to listen to my opinion. Um, if you want to trust the Cowboys more than you, more than you, you, you trust me, I recommend you do that. Trust the pros more than you trust me. But what I will do is I will show you film. I will give you context and I won't just pull stuff out of my ass. Like I'm really going to give you reasoning for why I feel a certain way. So, and, um, I can show you the film and you can tell me how you feel but anyway man that's kind of my list i ain't want to hold y'all too too long man these are just names that i heard associated with cowboys i just heard them from different little mediums or whatever and i just wanted to give my thoughts quickly um because i get asked a bunch so y'all hold it down for the doski was gonna peace your whiskey man we're gonna be doing a uh, live draft reaction show um on thursday for day one and day two so it's thursday and friday come to my channel we're going to be um doing a a live draft thing so um you'll get my reactions you'll get my analysis you'll get all that good stuff the phone line is going to be lit we can get your reactions and we can get your reactions as well and um that's how we're going to run it man y'all hold it down man peace